So today we will be talking about the basic divisibility. Basic divisibility in the sense um, from 1 to 20, whatever number is there, how to check that it is divisible by this number or not. It is a very fundamental things. expected that key 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 20th, easily knowing this one. But while teaching, I always find out, notice that key, although it is very fundamental things, but it should not do mistakes. So, if you have any confusion, ki how to check that key function, this number is divisible by 3, 7, 13, 17, what is the rule after that one? So, uh, go through this one. If you are feel that key, yes, I know everything 1 to 20, I can check by 17, 13 and anything. So, the no need of this, you can skip up that one. As a revision, you can uh, go through that different issue. So, it's, this is so much fundamental, but very, very important because these are the small, small things. If you are not knowing it, then in further the PRMO and all other places, you always find the difficulty. So, before starting, let us understand that ki how to write the number. If I will say, if I am talking about that ki 252, 252 exactly what is the meaning with the place value? with the place value. So, this all of you know this I can write 200 plus 50 plus 2 or you can say this we can write 2 into 100 plus 5 into 10 plus 2 into 1. Basically, this, this is the 100 place, this is the 10th place, this is the first place. So, this is the way we used to represent. So, if any number is there A, B, C, be clear. A, it is not A into B into C. A, B, C are digits. A, B, C are digits. Digits are you know, digit. Digits means what? Integer from 0 to 9. Means A can be 0, can uh, A can be 1, can be 2, can be 3. B can be 0, 1, 2, 3. You may say that, sir, why not A can be 0? Because if A becomes 0, there is no need of writing like this. That will become 2 digit number. I am talking about the three digit. So, three digit means A cannot be zero. Am I right? A cannot be B. This is not three digit number. This is a two digit number, 23. Did you understand? So, A, B, C. If you have to express A, B, C, A, it is not A into B into C. It is just number like 252. If I am writing 252, you will never say, ki, oh, 252 means 2 into 5 into 2. Right? It It is it, it, it's not like this. Am I right? So, same way, this is the way of representation. You should know that ki, what is the algebraic meaning of that. This means what? Ki 100 into A plus 10 into B plus C. This is the what exactly meaning. If I take four digit number A, B, C, D, am I right? That means 1000 into A plus 100 into B plus 10 into C plus D. This is the what exactly meaning of the numbers whenever integers i am talking about the integers whenever integer we have to write it we always write in this format i am sure ki able to understand all of you okay of course some books write this way also 10 cube into a plus 10 square into b plus 10 plus 10 into 10 power 1 basically 10 power 1 10 into c plus 10 power 1 into c plus 10 power 0 into d. This is the way of writing actually. But we are not going to use this. We will use this one logic. Am I right? So, I hope you understood that ki any big number is there. You can easily understand. If I say a1, a2, a3, a4, a5. This is the one number. All these are digit. So, you can understand that ki this is the fifth. So, this will be a1 into 10,000. Yes or no? Plus a2 into 1,000. I am doing correct? Yes. Plus A3 into 100 plus A4 into 10 plus A5. This is the what exactly meaning of the writing the numbers. Did you understand the meaning of this? Huh. Let me explain this by example so that you can understand. The so first question, all of you write it. You will say, sir, immediately question start. Yes. This much logic is very much comfortable. I didn't start divisibility. First understand how to write the number. Write a question. <coughs> prove that, prove that 
any number any number in form of in form of ab ab is always divisible by divisible by 101 very simple straightforward question you can do oral also but if you are not able to do oral nothing to be worried eh? we are learning in the learning process so ab ab means any number which is in the form of ab 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 means what first two digit and last two digit must be same means 25 25 36 36 are you getting uh, 20 20 43 43 like that 97 97 like that format means first two digit and last two digit are same and we have to prove that key such kind of number will be always divisible by 101 let let's verify it a b a b can we write like way thousand into a plus hundred into b plus ten into a plus b i'm sure it's clear to all of you okay from this uh, complete structure from here can i take 100 common yes very much i can take common what is going to be left it will be 10 a plus b from here nothing take common 10 a plus b now listen if i ask you forget about this question if suppose somebody say x and y are digit and 10 x plus y means what that means x y Nay, not x into y a number x y a number x y so this is nothing but what this will become uh, your a b a b is not a into b this is a hundred into a b number plus a b again this is the number so a b number i can take common and what is going to be left 100 plus 1 and that's indicate a b into 101 so i prove that ki a b c d is nothing but some integer number into 101 so it will be always divisible by 101 are you getting so if any number is divisible by something m so you have to try to prove that ki this is equal to some integer into m somebody say ki bhai, uh, how will you prove 12 is divisible by 2 how will you prove 12 is divisible by 2 so you will say 12 can be written 6 into 2 6 into 2 so this will be that's why divisible if anybody ask you how will you prove that ki 13 is not divisible by 2 so 13 x into 2 this x cannot be integer that's why we cannot express 13 in the form of integer into 2 so that's why it's not divisible by 2 whenever you want that key you have to prove that key a number is divisible by 2 it means that key you have to prove that key that number equal to some integer into 2. have you understand that's what i did so from here you know it but still write a point if capital n a number is divisible by divisible by small m then n must be equal to some integer some integer into m this is a very important point divisibility the first fundamental rule for the divisibility and that's what i did in the previous example in this example i did the same thing if any number is divisible by m you have to try to write that number equal to some integer into that m is it clear so if they ask you prove that a b a b is divisible by 101 so i try to express a b a b in the form of some integer by this is the integer some integer into 101 yes and then on this basic of this logic we can say that ki a b uh, sorry a b c d i wrote it here i'm sorry a b a b i'm sorry huh. a b a b will be always divisible by 101 i'm sure it's clear to everybody am i right Chal. <clears throat> let's see one more question just for you giving you confidence 
प्रूव दैट प्रूव दैट एनी नंबर एनी नंबर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ इन द फॉर्म ऑफ फॉर्म ऑफ एबीसी एबीसी ऑलवेज डिविजिबल बाय डिविजिबल बाय डिविजिबल बाय थाउजेंड वन means by looking the number you can tell it's divisible by 1001 how right suppose if i say 237 237 i don't have to check simply i will say it will be divisible by 1001 it will be divisible by 1001 one thing always remember in mathematics there nothing like called as that ki just learn this rule every rule must be proper proof without proof if anything is simply you are mugging up it means you are trying to do Uh, you are trying to spoil your mathematics for mathematics every statement will have the proper proof and you should always find out the proof before learn and by the proof if you will learn you will never face problem okay and that's what we are going to learn in this math in this lecture ki the divisibility rule which we learn it basically we don't have to learn if you understand the logic behind it right you can learn how what the, how to check divisibility with the 2 3 5 7 okay but till when suppose tomorrow they will ask you that ki do you check that ki this number is divisible by 129 or something like that you cannot learn every number divisibility rule na? so never learn the rule try to of course basic some basic prime number we will learn it but try to understand ki how that is coming up let's understand this question i hope you can do If you want to try, please pause the lecture and uh, try once again. Try. I am sure you will get answer. Chali, I will do it. <coughs> A B C A B C A B C A B C is equal to. I am doing my. Of course, we can go by more shorter way, but I don't want to teach you any shorter way. Shorter short method you can develop later stages. Okay. This is the which place one two three four five six. Means five digits are behind, so that means five zero will be there. Four five a plus behind b four zero, so one two three four b, and behind c three, so plus one two three c plus behind a two, so hundred a plus behind b one, so one zero. Are you are you getting how the I am writing it? I am right. Plus behind C no zero, so no zero. Simply C. Behind C no no digit, so after C here no zero. A one zero will not come. Correct. Now I will try to get this term. This term. I am right. So look carefully. Concentrate on this. This much. From here I can take thousand common. What I will get. From here, thousand common, so three zero gone. Only how many zero left? Uh, this is some mistake. One, two, three, four, five. Thousand. Uh, yes. Ha. So how many zeros left? Two zero left. So hundred a plus here three zero gone. So one zero left. Two b plus c. And this is as it is. Hundred a plus ten b plus c. What is this? This is the ABC. Right? ABC equal to what? ABC a number is equal to what? You will say hundred A plus ten B plus C. So in place of this, I can write ABC. So this is the ABC. So thousand into ABC. ABC is not A into B into C. Plus ABC. ABC I can take common. So what I will get? Thousand plus one. So we'll get what thousand one into ABC. I'm sure it's clear to all of you. What we proved, we proved that we ABC 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 is a number which can be always expressed as a some thousand one into ABC into thousand one, and that's what I was looking. I prove that ki this number is equal to some integer in two thousand one. So hundred percent, this number will be always divisible by thousand one. 
is this clear everybody understood understood na ha chaliye let's go ahead and uh, learn the divisibility rule <coughs> now divisibility rule what exactly this is actually we always try to see ki what will be condition ki this number is divisible by 2 divisible by 3 17 23 29 so like this we can't remember it so we should have the basic logic and that's what i'm going to teach you one by one we'll learn from 1 to 20 Miss, not learn. I will by this much. We will do so that ki in future any number they are asking we can do. All right. <coughs> divisible divisibility rule for what? Rule for what? For what? You say, sir, why you are teaching this? I mean, I am not teaching. I am just writing. Every number is divisible. Every integer is divisible by one. Every integer is divisible by one. There is no confusion. Already, all of you know. But since I want, I don't want to leave anything, so I will do everything. Every integer is divisible by one. Why? Every integer is divisible by one. Why? Suppose I say seventy-three. Is it divisible by one? Yes. as i told you in mathematics everything's go by proof why so because i can write 73 into 1 and i wrote some integer into 1 to 100% this will be always divisible by 1 so every integer is divisible by 1 no confusion at all no doubt at all correct divisibility rule for 2 divisibility rule for from 5th class 4th class grade you are learning this ki what is the condition that ki any number is divisible by 2 you know it you can speak there itself what is the rule last digit must be divisible by 2 am i right and you can say that number should be that integer their integer should be even integer let's try to think ki how can we see <coughs> listen suppose i a number i am taking a b c d i want to check that ki what is condition so that ki it should be divisible by 2 to a b c i can write what 1000 a plus 100 b plus 10 c plus d listen if this number is divisible by 2 every term must be divisible by 2 as a you know somewhere right if x plus y plus z is divisible plus minus also you can write it doesn't matter plus or minus divisible by m some integer m then x must divisible by m y must divisible by m z must divisible by m sum of any numbers sum of more than one number will be divisible by m only if individual term is divisible by m if individual term divisible by m yes or no are right. suppose somebody say check and no check right now <coughs> okay this is what ab now think i want to check it's divisible by 2 or not This should be divisible by two. Yes, it's divisible by two. And by thousand by two equal to what? Five hundred. This I can write thousand a. I can write what? Five hundred a into two. Yes or no? So this is divisible by two. This is also divisible by two. This is also divisible by two. So if you want that it should be divisible by two, this must divisible by two. That means. the last digit must be divisible by 2 that's only condition means last digit 
लास्ट डिजिट मस्ट डिविजिबल बाई टू आर यू कैन से लास्ट डिजिट मीन्स आइदर दिस और यू कैन से लास्ट डिजिट मस्ट बी इवेंट डिजिट इवेंट डिजिट आल ऑफ यू हेलो और यू कैन से लास्ट डिजिट मस्ट बी आइदर जीरो आर टू आर फोर आर सिक्स आर एट यू मे से सर वाई नॉट टेन अरे भाई डिजिट इज नॉट टेन डिजिट इज अप टू जीरो टू नाइन And remember, zero is an even digit. I don't think zero is neither even nor odd. Zero is the even number. Have you understood? So by looking itself, we can tell divisibility rule already. All of you know every perfectly. I know it, but I wanted to do each and everything so that in the future classes you should not create problem. चलिए next we are going for. I don't think I have to do example. You can easily suppose somebody ask you two zero three five seven eight four is divisible by two or not? Yes, it's a divisible by two. If anybody ask you two five eight three seven four six, for what well what value of digit A is? It should be divisible by two. All value of A, a does not matter because it's a divisibility. For a number, depend only on the last digit. It does not depend what is this. It does not depend before this what digit is there. It does not matter. Have you understood? Huh. So this is the rule for the divisibility rule for the digit two, which you are very much familiar. Now, next one. Divisibility rule. Rule for. Three, digit three. This also, I am sure, ki maximum of you know it. I don't. Let's assume. I am now onwards. I will not speak what is the rule. We will derive together the rule, and that then we will try to learn it. Of course, I will always suggest you ki up to eleven, you should remember all this, so that ki quickly you can solve the question. Further bigger division rule and all, no need of learning. When question is coming, you can derive at that moment. So now onwards, neither I know the rule nor you. You just forget what the rule you know. Let's get the derive divisibility rule of digit three. So take any number, any number. Don't think he take one digit number. Take some big digit. Suppose I am taking A B C D four digit number. It may be five digit, six digit, doesn't matter. Four digit number, okay. Four digit number. I will write thousand A plus hundred B plus ten C plus D. Yes, sir. Huh. Now this number should be divisible by three. So each and every term should be divisible by three. Right now, this itself is not divisible by three. This is itself is not divisible by three. Because you cannot express in the form of three. What to do? Let's do some changes. Thousand a, thousand a. Can I write triple nine a plus a? Yes, sir. Why I did this thousand a? I why I break like this? Now I know it's divisible by three, sir. How can you say? Because if you divide by three this number, it will be integer. Means triple nine I can write as a what? Triple three into three means triple nine a. Triple nine a. I can write uh, triple three a. Ah, uh, triple three a into three. So that's why it's divisible by three. Same way, hundred b. I what I can write ninety nine b plus b. Same way, ten c. I can write what nine c plus c. And d nothing I can write. Okay. Now let's rearrange it. This I can arrange this way: a plus ninety-nine, b plus ninety-nine, nine c plus. What is the balance? A plus b plus c plus d. Yes, Anu. If you want that ki a b c d should be divisible by three, so each and every term and bracket should be divisible by three. 
नहीं यस आ नो दिस इज ऑलवेज डिविजल बाई थ्री नॉट टू बी वरी हाँ इफ यू वॉन्ट दैट इट शुड बी डिविजल बाई थ्री तो दिस ब्रैकेट शुड बी ऑल्सो डिविजल बाई थ्री दिस ब्रैकेट शुड बी ऑल्सो डिविजल बाई थ्री तो मीन्स मस्ट बी डिविजल बाई थ्री बिकॉज दिस इज ऑलवेज डिविजल बाई थ्री सो वी डोंट हैव टू वरी ओनली दिस पार्ट इज प्रॉब्लम सो वी गॉट द रूल ए बी सी डी विल बी डिविजल बाई थ्री ओनली वेन सम ऑफ डिजिट इज डिविजल बाई थ्री ए बी सी ए प्लस बी प्लस सी प्लस डी मीन्स वॉट सम ऑफ डिजिट है मीन्स सम ऑफ डिजिट मस्ट बी डिविजल बाई थ्री रूल गॉट रेडी What is the rule? Sum of digits must be divisible by three. Divisible by three. Have you understand? Is it clear to everybody? I don't. We don't know any rule. We will be deriving and then we are learning. Now it's very easy to remember. I derive for the four digit. You can take three digit. You can take five digit. You can take seven digit. Doesn't matter. Any digit number we can express like this, and we can on that logic basis we can tell. Is this clear to everybody? <clears throat> so wrote all of you. If you didn't write, please pause the lecture and write. Proof must be there for everything. Proof must be there. Without proof, will not learn anything. Is it clear? So sum of digit must be divisible by three. This is the what the rule is came in front of us. Now, going ahead, let's before going to the further, we will try to do some questions so that we can get better idea. Suppose, if I ask you a question, find a if find digit a digit. A if two five three seven a four five one two is divisible by three is divisible by three. That means sum of the digit must be divisible by three. Now listen me. How to handle the such kind of problem first? How to handle such kind of problem? Look carefully. This five plus four will be divisible by three. So remove it. Those which is divisible by three, remove it. Three divisible by three already, remove it. Seven plus two is always divisible by three, remove it. Five one five plus one six divisible by three, remove it. Now what is left? A plus two. A plus two must be divisible by three. A plus two must be divisible by three. So what is the a value? A plus two must be divisible by three. So what is the a value? We have to check it. So a value will be either one or next one. Wait, if one you will put this value will become three. Next, what the value you can put four, four. Next seven. How I am doing? Are I add three unit one plus three four four plus three seven seven plus three ten ten we cannot take. Hello, we e is the digit, no? Huh. So what is the possible value? A equal to one four seven. Three possible value is there by which it will be divisible by. I am sure that able to understand all of you. No, some of you I know not able to understand. So I will little bit elaborate it. I did quickly, but cross check what exactly. This is divisible by three. So that means two plus five plus three plus seven plus. Uh, a plus four plus five plus one plus two must be divisible by three. Must be divisible by three. Up we can combine this. What way we can combine? Three plus this three gone. Two plus seven. Two plus seven. Three plus three. Three plus this two and seven gone. And five plus four plus five plus four. This five and four gone. Then five plus one, five plus one. Then five and one gone. Am I right? 
what I am doing, you will understand, don't worry. Plus balance A plus 2. This should be divisible by 3. Summation should be divisible by 3. So think like this. Are, this is already divisible by 3. 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 So this must be divisible by 3. So A plus 2 must be divisible by 3. Must be divisible by 3. A plus 2 must be divisible by 3. This is the way of representation. This line I think I already taught you. Is that clear? So a plus 2 must be divisible by 3. So a should be what? A value what can be happen? Either 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 till 9. But if I will put a as a 0, then this value will become 2, which is not divisible by 3. That's why first value of a will be 1. Next, 3, uh, uh, 2 if I will put not divisible, 3 I will put not divisible, 4 I will put divisible. That's why next 4. 5, no divisible, 6, no divisible, 7, yes, divisible, 8, not, 9, not, after that we cannot go. So, this is the only 3 possible value. Is this clear? But don't try to do like this unnecessary lengthy directly here. Those sum which is already divisible by 2, remove it. Have you understand? Huh? I am sure it is clear to everybody. Yes, or no? One more question. I know some of you are crying. Find a digit a. Find digit a if 4, 5, a, 3, um, 6, 5 is divisible by 3. Is divisible by 3. Correct. Very simple. Those which is sum is already 3, 9, divisible by 3, remove that. Unnecessary, why should we waste our time? 4 plus 5, 9, bye bye. 3, bye bye. 6, bye bye. Only what is left? 5. 5 and 8. A plus 5 must be divisible by 3. Why? Because 4 plus 5 plus 3 plus 6 is already divisible by 6, 3. So, A plus 5 must be divisible by 3. What is the A value? 0? No. So, A value, first value, 1. Next. Hello. Next, next, don't check 2, 3. Hey, for the 1, it's become divisible. The next divisibility will come at 3 only. Uh, sorry, after adding 3, to 4. Next, add 3. 7. Next, add 3. We can't add. 1, 4, 7. 1, 4, 7. Are you able to understand? In fact, this is the same answer. You know why same answer? Because 5 is nothing but 2 plus 3. 5 is nothing but 2 plus 3. So, a plus 2 plus 3, I can write it. So, this will be divisible by this 3 only when the a plus 2 is divisible by 3 because 3 is already divisible by. That's why same answer is coming. Is it clear to everybody? Hmm. Now, you have to do, write the question. If, if 3 divides, see this is the symbol. I already taught you, but again I am telling you, this symbol means, this symbol means x divides, divides y, x divides y. If 3 divides a number 2, 3, 4, a, 2, 3, 4, a, <coughs> uh, what should I take, 2, 3, 4, not 4, a, I am sorry, I will change the question. Uh, something 2, 3, 4. It's all. I'll make it totally different question. Mm. 2, 7, 3. 2, 7, 3, 4, 5. Uh, A, 8, 3, 1. See, this is just short form of writing. A, 3 divides then. <coughs> then, find find sigma a then find sigma a what does mean it what does mean it sigma a? sigma a means if suppose somebody say um, uh, b equal to 2 3 5 and i ask what is the sigma b sigma b means add all possible value of b means this value will be 2 3 2 plus 3 plus 5 means 10 okay so first thing in this question, first we have to find it out, what is the possible value of A. So, 
doing. 2 plus 7, 2 plus 7, 9. 4 plus 5, 9. 3 already divisible by. This 3 already divisible by. Hello. Are you getting my point? And 8 plus 1, 9. Are you? Everything is divisible. 2 plus 7, 9. Divisible, 3 divisible. 4 plus 5, 9 divisible. 8 plus 1, 9 divisible. 3. Oh, oh nothing left. Means A value will be what? 0, 3, 6, 9. So, sigma A will be what? 0 plus 3 plus 6 plus 9, 3 plus 6, 9, 9, 18. Answer will be 18. I am sure ki able to understand everybody clearly. Is this clear? So, this is the rule for the divisibility rule for 3. Very simple 6th, 7th standard question I am doing. Because remember concept develop by doing basic question. Once you do basic question, your concept will develop. Then go any level of question. Nobody is going to stop you. Chali. Next, let's go to the next point. Now, divisibility by 4. Divisibility by 4. Now, slowly you should divisibility by 4. Slowly you should become independent. What does mean? Independent of rule. We should immediately derive. That's what the I wanted to do. Divisibility by 4. Let's take 4 digit number. A, B, C, D. This I will write 1000 A plus 100 B plus 10 C plus D. Yes or no? Every term must be divisible by, hello, every term must be divisible by 8. Okay. Uh, sorry, uh, we are divisible by 4. Okay, fine. This is divisible by 4 already. 100%. Anyway, if you divide 1000 by 4, you will get integer. Remainder will be 0. Means it is a divisible by 4. This is also divisible by 4. If you divide 100 by 4, you will get 25. So, that is why it is divisible by 4. But 10 is not divisible by 4. And B by D I can't see. So, whatever is already divisible, that is keep it in one bracket. Because this is done. And other, you can take other bracket. What do you will get? 10 C plus D. 10 C plus D. This is already divisible by 4. This is already divisible by 4. I do not have to worry at all. This should be. Actually, this I can write what? CD. A number CD. Right? 10 C plus D. What is the meaning? Then what is the number? CD. That means, this is already divisible by 4. This must be divisible by 4. By 4. That is what the condition. Means, last two digit must be divisible by 4. Last two digit must be divisible by 4. What is the rule? Last two digit must be divisible by 4. Last two digit must be divisible by 4. That is all. Any number is coming. If you want to check divisibility, what you have to do? Ki last two digit must be divisible by 4. For example, if I say 2735804, yes, this number will be divisible by 4. Why so? Because I do not care what is the front written. I care about this portion only. 04, 04 means 4, divisible by 4. That is why it is divisible by this. If I say this is the 24, then also divisible by 4 because 24 divisible by 4. But if I write here 1 4, now this number is not divisible by 4 because 14 is not divisible by 4. Are you able to understand? Is this clear to everybody? Huh? So, divisibility rule for the 4 is very simple. Till now what we learn? Every number divisible by 1, any number divisible by 2 only when the last digit is the event digit. 
any number divisible by 3 only if the sum of digit is divisible by 3. If sum of digit is divisible by 3 and any number divisible by 4 only when the last two digit is divisible by 4. I am sure able to understand everybody. Correct? Chaliye. Next. <coughs> Next rule I am going, I hope all of you wrote it. If you didn't write, please pause the lecture and write. Hmm? Hmm. Up slowly you should become independent. Divisible by divisibility, divisible by by 5. What is the rule for the 5? Take four digit number and derive it. Pause the lecture, derive and get it. What do you remember? Forget it. Derive it. Pause the lecture and derive. Chali. Let's check it. A, B, C, D. You say, sir, every time why you are taking four digit? Are four digit is a general number. That's why I am taking four digit number, nothing else. A, B, C, D. Right? Will be equal to 1000 A plus. 100 B plus 10 C plus D. This must be divisible by 5. Will be only when the all, all terms are divisible by 5. This is already divisible by 5. With 1000 by 5 will be what? 200. This is also divisible by 5. 100 by 5 will be 20. This is also divisible by 5. 10 by 5 will be 2. Are you getting my point? So, this must be divisible by 5. That's all. Over. Must be divisible by 5. Must be divisible by 5. Last digit must be divisible by 5. Digit. Be clear. D is the digit. If I ask you, how many digits are there? You will say, sir, 0 is there. 2 is, uh, sorry, I'm sorry. 1 is there. 2 is there. 3 is there. 4 is there. 5 is there, 6 is there, 7 is there, 8 is there, 9 is there. This is a possible value of what? D. Last digit. Last digit can be anything. Think. If last digit is 0, 0 is divisible by everything. 0 is divisible by everything. So, 0 is divisible by 5. But 1, not divisible. 2, not divisible by 5. 3, not divisible by 5. 4, not divisible by 5. 5, divisible by 5. 6, not divisible by 5. 7, not divisible by 5. 8, not divisible by 5. 9, not divisible by 5. That means D value should be either 0 or 5. D value should be either 0 or 5. Means last digit, last digit must be either 0 or 5. That's all. Last digit must be either 0 or 5. If last digit is 0, divisible by 5. That number will be divisible by 5. If last digit is 5, then the also that number is divisible by 5. I hope able to understand everybody. Is this clear? So, by looking the number, you can tell easily it is divisible by 5 or not. If I say, 3, 7, 2, 4, uh, 2, 0, 4, 5, 3, 2, 0. Is it divisible by 5? Yes, because last digit is 0. If I say this is the 5, then also it is divisible by 5. But if I say this is the 6, no, not divisible by 5. What is the front digit? I do not care. Last digit must be either 0 or 5. Last digit must be either 0 or 5. Is this clear? Everything with the proof. Nothing. You should not simply learn anything. Be clear. If you simply learn, it will not be useful for you. Because when you will prepare for Olympiad or maybe in future for JE preparation or anything, their questions will be comes fresh question where you have to derive everything. Right? Chari. Next going ahead. Rule for divisibility by 6. Divisibility ability rule for 6. 6 is a composite number. 
which is having two prime factor. Six is equal to nothing but two into three. Six is nothing but two into three, and nothing common between them. If any number you want to check divisibility, suppose somebody say I want to check divisibility rule for fifteen. So fifteen you can say fifteen is nothing but five into three, and nothing common between them. But ha, huh, don't try to say ki eight. I will write two into four. This is first thing. This is not a prime number, and there is a common between them. So you cannot write this way. Six we can express in the two prime number two into three. So whenever any number you have to check the rule for the any particular number, and that number can be expressed as a two prime numbers, two prime numbers. To so use that logic, that means divisibility of rule six, nothing, no new rule, simple number must be. Divisible by two and three, two and three. Same way, fifteen. What is the rule for the divisibility rule for the fifteen? I will say that ki the number must be divisible by five and three. Number must be divisible by two and three. What does mean it? The last digit must be even and sum of digit must be divisible by three. That's all. Finish. Like for example, suppose if I say two, one, three, four, and uh, five, four. Hmm? Is it divisible by six? First thing, is it divisible by two? Yes, that very easy to check. Last digit should be even. It's divisible by two. It's divisible by two. Divisible by two. This condition satisfy. If one more condition satisfy, our question is solved. If one more condition satisfy, we can say it will be divisible by six. Otherwise not. It's already divisible by two. Sum of digit is what three. Divisible by three. Three divisible by three. Five plus four divisible by three. How I am doing? Are you able to understand? Two plus one divisible by three. So leave it. Three divisible by three. Leave it. Five plus four divisible by three. Leave it. Means. Complete summation of the number is divisible by three. Arey, you can add it. Na two plus one three, three plus three six, six plus five eleven, eleven plus four fifteen. Sum of digit is fifteen, and fifteen is divisible by three. So this number is divisible by two as well as divisible by three. So I will say this number is divisible by six also. I'm sure able to understand everybody. Hello, excuse me. Are you getting? This is the what called as the divisibility rule for the six. So you can understand there will be some numbers where you don't have to derive the uh, divisibility rule. You can use the previous one when when that number can be expressed in the two prime numbers. Is it clear? But eight also I can break it, but not prime number. That's why eight rule we will derive. We cannot use a number which is divisible by two and four. No. Because there is a common between them. Have you understood? Huh? So for the eight, you need to derive no other choice. So I'm sure it's clear to all of you. We can go ahead. Next, a oh, very important. I hope you can understand ki how much important this is. Divisibility rule. For seven, seven is a prime number. Seven is a prime number. It cannot be break into factors. Maybe you are knowing. I don't know. Maybe you are knowing, but I don't know. I will be trying to derive divisibility rule for seven. Chal, try. A B C D. <coughs> A B. C D, A B C D. What I can write? Thousand A plus hundred B plus ten C plus D. Watch it. Everything I will try to write in the form of divisible by seven because I have to check divisibility with the seven. Thousand not divisible by seven. So easy, very easy. Seven hundred I can write. Seven hundred A 
plus 300. I hope you understood. This 1000A I wrote 700A plus 300A. 100B I can write 70B plus 30B. 10C I can write 7C plus 3C. And D can't write anything. This things combine it. 70 ke baad This is, this is. I am combining. I am combining these three. So 700A plus 70B plus 7C. Why I combine? Because now I know it's divisible by 7. What is balance? Balance is what? Uh, balance. Okay, balance is what? <coughs> Balance will be your uh, 300A plus 30B plus 3C. Okay. Hmm. 3C plus D. But D is creating problem. D is creating problem. Some changes I am doing. If you don't mind, yellow plus 7D minus 6D. Have you understand what I did? In place of D, D also I break in two part 7D and D, 6D. 7D minus 6D is the D. So in place of D, I can write D. What is the benefit? Benefit is this. This is the divisible by 7. Already divisible by 7. And here, why I added this one? Because I want to take 3 common. I want to take 3 common. See, this is the division by 7. So, simply just for time pass, I can write 7m, 7, 7 into some integer. What is this? I don't care. Plus, from here, 3 I can take common. What will come? 100a plus 10b plus c minus 2d. I hope able to understand all of you. So, equal to 7m plus 3 into 3 into watch it carefully, everybody. 3 into this is what this portion this portion this portion is what only this portion concentrate everybody concentrate please 100 a plus 10 b plus c this is the abc this is the abc minus 2d maybe those who are learning first time the divisibility of 7 they will find slight difficulty but believe me it's very easy. ABC. This is already divisible by 7. Forget it. This should be divisible by 7. Must be divisible. 3 is the integer. Forget. Means ABC minus 2D must be divisible by 7. ABC minus 2D must be divisible by 7. ABC minus 2D must be divisible by 7. Rule is coming what? ABC minus 2D must be divisible by 7. What is ABC? What is ABC? ABC is that if you remove the last digit, whatever the number left, that is the ABC. So, this rule I can simply say this way. Remaining number minus 2 into last digit must be divisible by 7. Slightly it will create problem, but believe me, it's very, 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 very easy. What is the meaning of remaining number? Let me explain the things. Let me write the steps after that you will understand. If you have to check divisibility by 7, first rule, first step is that, first step is that, remove last digit. Last digit. Whatever number is there, remove last digit. Next step. Multiply. 
remaining number after removing remaining number minus 2 into the last digit which you remove already is divisible by divisible by 7 two possibility either yes if it's yes the number divisible by 7 if it's no then proceed restart the process i know that key it will be problem for you initially understanding but believe me you will understand it's very very simple just hold down for five minutes and concentrate first let's see derivation because derivation will be very important rule is very simple quickly you will learn don't worry not to be worry at all a b c d we have to check divisible by 7 or not so a b c d will be this way i break this 700 plus 300 why because i want to write in term of divisible by 7 this is this way this is this way and this and this d i wrote it as what this here itself i am writing so that it will be comfortable for all of you this d this d i can write 7d minus 6d now all the 7 divisible term i bring it one place and balance i bring it another place from here 3 i take in common so this is bigger divisible by 7 so i don't have to look at all so i just for time pass i wrote 7m plus 3 i take in common so i'll get 100a plus 10b plus c minus 2d this leave it like this but this 100a plus 10b plus c is nothing but abc abc is a number and that number is what after removing d whatever number we left that the abc they are saying that ki, this whole thing is nothing but abcd this whole thing must be divisible by 7 this is already divisible by 7 this is not divisible 3 is not divisible by 7 so this must be divisible by 7 this must be divisible by 7 means abc minus 2d must be divisible by 7 but i cannot learn this way because it's not necessary four digit number it can be a 10 digit number also so what way I, I will try to learn remaining number what is the meaning of remaining number if you remove the last digit whatever the number balance that is the remaining number remaining number minus 2 into last digit minus 2 into last digit that's what i'm saying must be divisible by 7 hello excuse me i know all of you some of you did not understand you will understand let's create some questions right question so i will take up some number which is divisible by seven and try to check <coughs> so how to take that number i will use calculator because that much question who will make so any number which is divisible by seven how to take it the seven into some number take it seven into two five four seven one which has it नहीं इतना बड़ा नहीं अब सेवन इनटू सेवन इनटू टू फाइव फोर छोटा नंबर चुन्नू बनो वन सेवन सेवन एट आई वांट टू चेक वन सेवन सेवन एट इस डिविजिबल बाय सेवन आर नॉट वी नो इट्स डिविजिबल जस्ट नाउ इन द कैलकुलेटर वी डिड इट डिविजिबल बाय सेवन आई नो आई वांट टू चेक इट सपोज आई डोंट नो तो आई व First thing, remove the last digit. Okay, what's left? 177. Now, whatever last digit is there, multiply with the 2. 16, subtract it. Remember all of you? After removing last digit, if you remove this portion, you will get 177. Minus 2 into D. Remember all of you? What is the D? 8, 8 into 2, 16. Subtract it. Subtract it. 1. 6, 1. Is it divisible by 7? I don't want to check. I want some number which is oral. We can tell. So, same rule again apply. Same rule again apply till the time you are not very sure it's not divisible by 7 or not divisible by 7. Here also we are very sure we can divide it. But for example, we don't know. The same process. Remove 1. What's left? 16. Whatever you remove, last digit, this is a new question. Last digit, whatever you remove, that you multiply with the 2 and subtract. What's coming? 14. And here I am very sure that 14 is divisible by 7. So this number will be divisible by 7. 
एक्सक्यूज मी आर यू एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड हाँ अब नाउ लेट्स मेक सम रैंडम सम रैंडम क्वेश्चन लिटिल विथ प्रैक्टिस इज नीडेड रैंडम कुछ भी ले लो टू थ्री फोर सिक्स ऐसे ले लेते समथिंग आई वॉन्ट टू चेक इट्स डिविजन वाइज सेवन आर नॉट फर्स्ट रिमूव द लास्ट डिजिट टू थ्री फोर देन मल्टीप्लाई द लास्ट डिजिट बाई टू एंड सब्ट्रैक्ट फ्रॉम हियर टू ट्वेल्व If you subtract, this will be two. This will be two, and this will be two. Is it divisible by two, uh, seven? I don't know. What should I do? Again, make a new question. Remove last two, last digit. Balance twenty-two, and whatever last digit you remove, multiply with the two. So what you will get? Well, four. So four subtracted. If you four subtract, you'll get eighteen. Now here, I am very sure it's not divisible by seven, because easily we can tell. तो 100 परसेंट दिस नंबर इज नॉट डिविजल बाई सेवन हेलो एक्सक्यूज मी हा डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड द पॉइंट अरे इज दिस क्लियर चलो वन मोर क्वेश्चन डिजिट लेट्स इंक्रीज लेट्स इंक्रीज द डिजिट One seven nine eight eight six. I want to check. It's divisible by seven or not? What to do? Remove last place. What is left? One seven nine eight eight. Double it. What will become twelve? Subtract it. What has become six? Seven. Uh, nine seven one. Uh, I can't check. Again, this is a new question. So one seven nine seven six. I remove double it twelve. Subtract five eight seven one. Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. Again, make a new question. Remove five one seven eight five. Double it. What will come twelve? Sorry, I'm sorry. Double it ten. Subtract it. One six eight. Uh, I don't know. Remove this. Hello. Remove this. Double it. Subtract it. Zero. And zero is divisible by everything. Zero is divisible by seven also. So I will say this: the number is divisible by seven. I'm sure that all of you are able to understand the point. Is this clear to everybody? <coughs> right to practice how to practice sir take a calculator make a big number and do the practice keep on practicing big take a calculator like me i i also my calculation is also very poor suppose if i say some dummy question uh, 2 4 5 6 into 7 is equal to 17192 17192 i know it's divisible by 7 because i multiply 7 17192 Just for practice, one seven one nine two, one seven one nine two, one seven one nine two. I want to check it. Remove the last digit. One seven one nine left. One seven one nine left. One seven one nine left. Double it four. Subtract it five. One seven one. Still, I am not able to decide. So I will do the process again. Process keep on repeating till the time you are not confirm kids divisible by seven or not. So five remove become ten one seven one minus ten z one abaja six one. Are you getting? Still I am not confirm. Remove one because sixteen and multiply two two and subtract it fourteen. Here I am confirm fourteen divisible by seven. I will say this number is divisible by seven. Have you understand? Is this clear? <coughs> so. This is the what the basic things we started. This is the part one, and now in the second lecture we'll be finishing up to twenty. By that time, I can assure you that you can you will never face problem in the divisibility of a number by another number, whatever the big number is there. I don't care. Little bit idea all of you got it. Ki what is actually process how we used to derive it. Am I right? So in the next lecture we are continuing this further. Thank you.